Well, hi guys, hopefully this finds you very well. My name's Paul, this is Plan Z, and welcome to this little session today where I'm asking the question, can the combination of Boss GT1000 and Two Notes Cab M Deluxe, Fender Deluxe? So uh, we've got five patches. We've got one here where we've got uh, different gain stages using the gain stages that Boss give us, where if you have a GT1000, GX100 or Core, uh, you'll know that for every amp we get, we have three gain stages, a low gain, a medium gain, and a high gain. We're currently on a medium gain with a gain at 30. I just changed it to a low gain. We're gonna be looking at the settings in a little minute. Uh, we're gonna take advantage of YouTube's little zoom in feature. I've got the screen focused on the GT1000 screen so uh, of the camera, so uh, you can zoom in and it will be clear. This is a low gain, medium gain, and a high gain. All with the game in the same place. In the next patch, we've got the gains at 45. Go to the low gain. Going to the next patch where I've got the gains at 60 and we, when we land on the patch, we're landing on a low gain with the gain at 60. Just bring up the gain pop. Going to, oh, I'm a donut, I forgot to go into manual mode. Medium gain. Then the high gain. Now I kind of feel that the high gain, let's get into it. Here, what I've got going on is obviously we've gone to the high gain channel in this amp. I've got the bass at 20. We don't have a, me a, media, a middle gain or a presence knob on an actual deluxe. So what happens in the GT1000 is I tend to leave those knobs alone if we don't have them, and I just assume they've got them set as the amp would be set, okay? And I'll use the two knobs that we do have, which is the bass and the treble, for controlling the tone here, along with the gain, the sag, the resonance, and the level, okay? So in this patch, we've got the gain at 60 for all three gain stages, and I kind of feel that at 60, that high gain is just nowhere near realistic. It's too much gain. Just gonna bring that back. Gonna bring the bass up a bit. And I feel like that's a nicer tone already. So I think if I'm going to keep this high gain channel here, I'm going to bring the, the gain down to 50 and the bass to 40. So let's just set that up. So in the assigns, I'm going to go into control assign, press the assigns. And in here, I've got a load of free assigns that I've left open. Now, I wanted to manip manipulate the bass, so we go we're going to have bass come up to 40. Let's just turn that on. And I think for the for the medium gain, I'm going to leave I'm going to start out leaving the medium gain maybe with the bass at, uh, at 20 because well, we'll see how we start out. I'm going to put the bass on 20 for the medium gain because I'll have the gain higher there. Now, let's just replace this middle because we're not going to use it. And we'll go preamp one, gain. So 
when it's a medium gain amp, I've got the gain on 60, wasn't it? But it's changing to 50. Yeah, okay, so let's just uh, make sure my buttons are on. Lovely, that'll do. Let's just uh, come back here. So this is the medium gain. 20, 50, 50, 50. And there's the high gain with the bass at 40, 50, 40, 50. But the gain's at 50. The level is at 50. And when I'm going to the medium gain, the gain goes to 60 and the level goes to 55. Let me just check something. That's quite nice. Now I feel, I'm wondering if I couldn't take a little bit of traps off the hill. So I've just brought the treble back to 45 on the low gain amp where we've got the gain at 60. Okay. So that's working a bit better for me. I'm going to come back into these first patches. I know I scooted across them, but we've got a flavour of what's going on now. Now, in this fourth patch, I've changed the strategy. What's happening is I've got two amps here. This top one, let's go to that amp. Let's go to manual mode. So here, when this button is red, both of the amps have got the gain cranked to 100. So you can see here, 100. If I go to this amp, it's 100. If I press this button, it comes down on this side to 37 and on this side to 40, all right? Now in the back of the amp, I've got this amp set to medium gain and this amp set to low gain. So I've got like four gain stages there between the two amps, okay? So uh, how the low gain is set, is bass 60, treble 60. But when I change the gain to 100, the level comes from 100, a master level of 100 in the low gain with the gain at 37 to a level of 60 with the gain on 100. All right? Now, when that happens, you'll see here that the bass and treble drop. Treble goes to 40 from 60 and the bass goes to 20 from 60. All right, so let's just uh, go into that amp. This is the low gain, back pickup. Now I've currently got the sag at five on all the patches. Toying with the idea of seven. I press this button, this amp here will go to the gate. I'm going to leave it on five for the moment. Now, will that clean up? I'm going to pull back the game pot on the guitar. straight to a low gain if I want to. Okay, so let's change the channel. So now we're going into the medium gain amp where I've got the gain at 40, the, in the other one it's 37, the level here at 65, in the other one it's 100, but I've got the bass and treble in the same place. Let's go back to the low gain. So I get a bit more push. Now this goes to 100 as well when I press the button. The level comes down to 55. 
let's compare. We've got the bass at 20, the treble at 40. Join with the idea of dropping that bass a bit. Sorry, the treble. Let's go to the low gain. Compare the two. I'm going to drop that high gain at the the highs here when we go to the high gain in amp one. I'm going to pull that down to 30 to start with. Pulling all of the bass out. Pulling the level to 50. So here we can see we've ended up in a medium gain. Let me check something. Oh, I, oh, I went to amp two. Let's put that bass back in. Take it. Bringing the level back up to fifty five. I just need the wrong parameter. So this is now the low game with the gain on 100. wonder here if with my gain on a hundred I don't need to pull that back a bit but actually I'm peaking where I need to be peaking on my meter in the room for the kind of level we're at there okay so let's just we've got to look at these we're going to come back to these first two in just a moment but let's look at the fifth patch now where I'm trying to do something slightly different now my patch fives, I've kind of got them centered around special effects, but I'll talk to you here about how most of the patches are set up or the principles. So we come in, we have a noise suppression and another one before and after the amps, okay? So I have my first gain stage with drives and things here. If I hit, go to manual mode, hit my drive here, my drive will come on, okay? Before the noise suppression. We then got two amps here. Now um, I'm just flicking between the two amps in this case. They're both set to a deluxe. I've got a low gain and another low gain. 60-60 with the gain at 35. And this one I've got the gain at 80. 20-50-50-50, okay? So then here is where Two Notes Cab M are sitting. Now we're going to talk about that in a separate video where we're going to put a load of different cabinets on these amps, these patches that we're looking at now in this video. The next video we're going to look at uh, different cabinets and guitars. So uh, I'm using the telly today, but I've got the Les Paul and the Casino um, to put through the same patches, okay? So in here we've got the Two Notes Cab M. Now let's just quickly talk about that. In here, both of them are set up the same with exception of the microphones. The power amp is set to single-ended 6L6, um, the level at 50, and the, um, the depth at, 
at 50. That's 15. I mean 12 o'clock. So 15 and 50. We're set to pantode for the power ramp, okay? Then here we've got our cabinet, which is the silver 77, which is a twin. And then on the right, I've got a 57. On the left, I've got a ribbon 121. Now, the 57 has a level of minus 3 dB, the ribbon 121 minus 2. The axis for the 57 is 35, it's 0, so right in the middle for the ribbon 121, and the distance is 2% on both, okay? There's no EQ, no reverb, and the patch level is at 0, the unit level is at zero. I've adjusted the level on the microphone rather than on the back end of the unit, okay? Now, after there, I've got my EQ set. And I want us to kind of think that, uh, I'm just coming down to the end of the chain here, where I've got the last of the EQ. And in this patch, I've got a compression. Now in the other patches, there's no compressor at the end, but I've got one in place, because um, I want to experiment with that. Now here is where I, I, I'm treating the overall gain for all four EQ blocks. I'm gain staging it here. So I go plus six on the level here, and I'm going plus two on the highs, which is a high shelf at the end of the EQ, okay? Here we've got 4K. I'm taking out Q of four minus six dB, and I've got, I'm leaving this one here alone. I've got a high cut coming in at 10K, okay? But remember, I've boosted the level here largely because of what's happening down here. Now, I put that EQ after the reverbs and things just to help everything kind of marry together. Now, here is where I do the low cut. So the first EQ after the uh, cabinets. Uh, I'm just giving a little bump in this amp of plus one to the bass, leaving the other parameters alone and then taking out 160 on a Q of 8 minus six, uh, 6, taking out 250 on a Q of 1 minus 4, and the low cut to 125. Then here, leaving all the parameters alone on the first page, we're going 400 Q of 2 minus 2, 630 Q of 4 minus six that's all that happens in there in this one i'm looking around for whistling frequencies and i found at 2k and 3.15k i wanted to take out on a notch cue so a cue of 16 minus 6 db those two frequencies to get rid of harsh high frequencies okay in the high mids <laughs> Now in this patch, we've got the wet dry set up as I like to do with my um, divide here. So we've got the clean signal going across the top of which I can stick a chorus on that. And I've got a chorus, a separate chorus, come on after the verbs. Now when I press this button, it switches this divider here. So we were sending through the clean signal minus our chorus into the reverb before. But now, and I just want to kind of note the direct signal here. When I press that button, here we're totally wet. And here I let the dry signal through because I want all of this noise here to come into the reverb and be heard. But this effect is set with the dry level at zero, okay? Now, I've just put a slicer in. We've got a bit of uh, dual reverb giving us some stereo movement. Okay, you can hear the settings. Now, if I pull back the, uh, the, the expression on the, uh, um, the expression f uh, uh, pedal here is controlling our feedback on the delays, okay? So I can, if I want, just uh, turn off that delay and leave that bubbling into my reverb. Remember, when I switch that channel, uh, 
all of the dry signal goes away, okay? So we're just hearing the reverb coming off that. Let's take off the chorus. Put on a clean boost. Now here I'm using a hall reverb. I've, I've got it fully extended. I've got the tone up. Density on seven, level at 70, I want it quite strong. Pre-delay on one, 6.30 low cut. And I'm gonna just pull that back to 1.6. And then bring up the highs here. Okay, let's go back to this channel here where we've got our bubbling along happening. Now, let's just uh, pull all of that back. Now, I've got a delay here, but in the slicer itself, I've got this button here to set up for the trigger. Now, I don't know if you know, when you, when you have your slicer on, it's just gonna be doing the pattern that you've selected. Here, I'm just using pattern five, but could use any pattern here. Now, the trigger lines your pattern up with your beat. So, for example, if I just start playing, it's slicing. Okay? But my beat could come in, I'm gonna bring in a beat. And we could be slightly off. So if I now on the one, press my trigger, hopefully now we should be a little better synced. Three, four. Now I've got this patch set up so that I can, in manual mode, when I press this button and then this button, I'm totally wet. So all we hear is this part, nothing that's here, okay? So I'm gonna put on the chorus. Actually, let's hear it without first. It's going to take off the boost there. I'm going to try taking a loop. I'm going to bring in a bass. Okay, let's give this a go. That's now giving me a nice bit of atmosphere. I could, at the end of the track, if I want, have my delays up and leave that hell, do a little messing around. But let's just come and save this patch now. Can't remember if I made any changes. Let's take off all of these bits and bobs that are on. And now we should just have our clean guitar with reverb. Let's uh, give ourselves a bit of the boost. Let's go to the one where we've got the gain up. Yeah, nice, that works well for me in the room. So I'm just gonna stop those loops there for a moment, save my patch. Now let's come to the first two patches, where really we're just What's happening here is we've got a low gain, we've got a medium gain, and this one goes to high gain. But this time around, in this amp, we've got the gain at 30 for both the medium and the high gain, and at 35 in the low gain. 
So let's uh, go to that low gain where SAG and resonance are at uh, five, the level is at 100, 60 on the bass, 60 on the trebs, obviously we've got no mids and presence. Go to the medium game where we've got the same story in the back end of the amp gain at 30 rather than 35 and the level here at 70. Let's go between the two. Change to the high gain, the level is still at 60, brought the treble back to 55. So you can see it's just this here changing. Okay, so that's that patch. All of the EQ that we that's in here discussed exactly the same way, okay? Now in these patches, I've got a divide set up where I can do a couple of different things. Um, but what we'll do is let's come out of this patch and go to this patch to explore that because I've expanded it a bit for this patch. In this patch, we've got the gains we talked about earlier. I've dropped it to 50 from 60. We've got a high gain, medium gain, and a low gain, okay? So let's start it off in, in... In the low gain. So, uh, and we've already looked at those settings, haven't we? So what I'm doing here with this divide is I'm using this, when I press this button, it automatically goes to wherever I've got this button designated. So I come straight up the middle there, but... I could come out to the right, let's come back up the middle, or come out to the left. I can move independently once I'm there, okay? But here, I've also got the divide set up to split us, so this is just splitting both the mics, it's using the little trick in here to give us our stereo spread. This patch will be developed uh, also using blended amps and things like this, because I'll put the signal chain within this divide, okay? but. Um, we've then got our effects in here as well. So we could, when we add those, I have a chorus on this side. I've shown you a similar thing, but on the output before. And on this side, we've got the tremolo with our trigger going on. But when I come up the middle, I can have either a chorus Or, if I was to double tap those, I can have just the tremolo. Okay? I could have a jam where I have just that at the one side. So let's go to a bit more gain. Let's put the verb up. Let's uh, add to our little loop here. got this set to the trigger so I'm just going to trigger it on the beat. Uh, I've missed my place for my loop but I'll take the loop on the next round. loop there, I could cross over to the other side where we've got our chorus on 
this here is a compressor now. Let's go low again. Okay, so yeah, hopefully that's given us a little insight. And my little question here at the beginning of this video is, can it deluxe? Um, I'm using a twin cabinet on it. Really like those tones. I feel like I'm playing a Fender Star lamp, but I can't wait to try the different cabinets on these patches now. So in the next video, that's what we're gonna do is try uh, different uh, styles of cone and microphone on this cabinet, uh, on this preamp, and see where we get to with our patches here. And along the way, there's gonna be other amps coming into the mix, the Twin, the Voxes, the Plexis, Mesa Boogies, all the rest of them. I'll catch you a bit later. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>